If Leonardo da Vinci were alive today, you can bet he'd be on that gym floor. Okay. Down there with those University of Maryland students, hoping to see what he first saw in his mind's eye more okay. than 500 years ago. Okay, take her up. A human-powered helicopter. Until recently, remarkably little progress had been made on da Vinci's design. Up the wire. A few got up, kinda, but quickly went down, often in the human-powered equivalent of flames. It's really hard to make a human-powered helicopter because humans are, in general, really terrible engines. They're actually worse in terms of power to weight than a steam engine. It'd be easier to build a steam-powered helicopter than a human-powered helicopter. Really? Yeah. So why, then, are Will Stark and his Maryland team of rotocraft engineering students even chasing this windmill? I mean, they told us it was impossible. Who doesn't want to prove everyone wrong when they're told that something's impossible? They've been at it almost five years now. Some of the grad students put in more than 40 hours a week building and rebuilding this monstrosity. Lift. It's as wide as a 737, but weighs less than a small cheerleader. Stop. Just 82 pounds without a pilot. Good. An engineering marvel. Okay. But here's the really amazing thing. It works, ahead, at least insofar as it can consistently lift off and land in one piece. Good. What's the practical application? Uh, the practical application, honestly, there isn't really a practical application. <laughs> You're not going to commute to work 65 seconds at a time in a human-powered helicopter any time in the near future, or probably ever. Again, it's mostly a pride thing. But there's also a prize. Take her up. The American Helicopter Society and the Sikorsky Helicopter Company Hold. are offering a quarter of a million dollars to the first team or school that can hover straight for one minute and reach a height of 10 feet. Back it down. The height has been the hard part. Hi, for months, the Maryland Hold. kids Hold. never got above Hold. four feet. Hold. The university wasn't going to fund us anymore. It had been four years. There needed to be something that happened drastic. Team member Elizabeth Weiner was under the helicopter last summer during what was supposed to be their last give it everything they got attempt. And I watched him pass me. He went over my head and I saw my fingertips like not even close to touching the bottom of it. It was very overwhelming. <laughs> they flew to eight feet, redefining the very word impossible. Now they say they can almost taste that prize flight. It'll be really exciting, and I think there's going to be that, that rush right after. But what you're most looking forward to? Is a nap, some rest. <laughs> Steve Hartman, on the road. It's going to be great. In Landover, Maryland. <laughs>